Hey, it's Joachim Gomez for 987 TV alongside Dan and Will of Bastille. Hello, guys. Hello. Good to doing? see you here, Melbourne. Now, my first question to you is this. We flew up to Melbourne, or rather flew down to Melbourne to see you. When will we see you in Singapore? Anytime soon? Well, hopefully. We're hoping at the beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're kind of in the, in the process of finalising some plans. But we are very, we, you know, we, we'd absolutely love to go to, to go to Singapore and hopefully next year. Do you have anything to say about that, Will? I agree with Dan that in the beginning of next year, hopefully we'll come to Singapore. We really, really hope so. Mm -hmm. um, as anyone who's dared to look at our website in the last, that works, <laughs> last few months, um, the schedule's a bit mad. Well, once we get a bit of time free, then obviously we'd love to come and hang out with you guys. We, we, we've, been waiting for, we've been waiting on the invite, to be fair. <laughs> we're not, right. not going to rock up. Well, uh, we are personally inviting you to Singapore, so come on down. Look for us if you're there, okay? Right, right we'll sort yeah. out then. All right, and um, you know, we were speaking to Dan and Will earlier, and we actually hear that Woody is a bit of a football pundit. It's been known, yeah. <laughs> Anything to say about uh, England's recent result? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm actually optimistic in spite of the result. Um, it, Italy chose to just park the bus and not play football, whereas we tried to play football. So, you know, if they want to be petulant little children about it, then fine. Um, now, we've got like some really good young players coming through at the minute. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Costa Rica did us a massive favour as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. By beating Uruguay. So that's, that's blown it wide open. So um, win the next two games, then we're going to win the World Cup. So it's very safe to say Woody can be a football pundit if he weren't in Bastille. What about you, Carl? If you weren't a musician, or if you weren't in Bastille, what would you have been? Dressage. I'm way into my dressage. Okay. Um, no, uh, I I don't know. I um, I'd probably I'd be like, dead or something like male prostitute. Um, <laughs> although I'm not even I like I'm I'm not even that good. What, so what's I'd, what's your rate? I'd be, a, I'd be a bad I'd be a bad male prostitute. All right. Unsuccessful. <laughs> I'd bung you if you could if you want. Oh. Just, just 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 hold me. That's all I want. That's, okay. nice. That's really nice. Nothing serious. Okay, oh no, no, I'm not into that series. I always just wanted not to have a job because I wasn't very good at having a job. Uh -huh. I kept getting fired and stuff. I was asleep once okay. and my boss came in. And I think that he should have given me a written warning, but he fired me on the spot. Oh no. Um, so had this not worked out, I didn't have many options in life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could have. I also got caught sleeping at work. And you didn't get fired? Nah. <laughs> I, I, was, I was working in I, was, I, I, I found the stationery room and, and there was a massive thing of bubble wrap okay. so I rolled out the bubble wrap used the, the, what was left of the coil coil? whatever the roll as, as a pillow and then used that as a mattress mm -hmm. such a good sleep so I went straight for the on the I was working I was the only person in charge of a shop full of <laughs> my boss's merchandise and I was um, <laughs> yeah just asleep on the counter okay I was a bit annoyed he wasn't. On the counter, that's yeah. brazen, that's like... Uh, yeah, he walked in and sort of walked around, took some stuff, <laughs> walked out again, came back in, woke me up, told me he would, could have just stolen some stuff. I mean, I thought it was rude just to wake me up like that. And Bastille giving me ideas to fall asleep at work as 